disappearance, the writer, journalist and explorer died on Saturday June 13 at the age of 94 at the Henry Dunant Hospital in Paris, Le Figaro learned. Adored by some, cursed by others, the author of Moi, Antoine de Townens, King of Patagonia and of the Camp des Saints marked the French literature of his universe. Jean Raspail's office was a museum of his life, mixing ship models, figurines of Indian generals, travel souvenirs. The Patagonian Consul General is no more. Writer, explorer, adventurer, poet. Jean Raspail left his mark on 20th century French literature. Before being an adventurer for words, man traveled through isolated lands. Thick mustache, bushy eyebrows, face cut with a knife. Jean Raspail was an obstinate being, proud of his positions, assuming with his deep blue eyes his Catholic faith and his attachment to the monarchy. A royalist ecologist, utopian and adventurer. Jean Raspail was a romantic. Considering the inner journeys of life, it was there that I was born, at the age of 23 years and 9 months, on an icy spring morning in the year 1949 Jean Raspail. The Blue Island born on July 5, 1925 in Kamel Sardaman in Dretelwar, Jean Raspail is a child of the bourgeoisie. Descendant of François Vincent Raspail, who gave his name to the boulevard, who re-established universal suffrage in 1848. His father was president of the Grandsmans de Corbeil and director general of the Saarland Mines. However, despite private schools and a strict education, the young Raspail has desires for elsewhere. Too young to join the resistance, he had to wait until 1949 to set sail. To consider the inner journeys of life, this is where I was born, at the age of 23 years and 9 months, on an icy spring morning in the year 1949, he wrote. In Blue Island, Robert Lafont, 1990. Jean Raspail winner of the Grand Prize for the Novel of the French Academy for his book Pour moi en Wanda Townens in 1981. Rue des Archives, copyright Rue des Archives, egg of the 23-year-old moon fisherman leaves his world of comfort for adventure. A team of young people who heralded 30 years of traveling around the globe, to endangered peoples and to the confines of hostile lands. He put his bag in Tierra del Fuego, in the Antilles, in Alaska, on the shore of Lake Titicaca or even in McAllen brought back guides and stories. Adventurer of words and isolated lands. His first books are reports. His first real novel, Le Vente Pens, was released by Jill Aird in 1958. Story written after a trip to Japan. From these adventures, Raspail drew a quasi-biography, a monument. Me, Antoine de Townens, King of Patagonia, Albin Michel, Grand Prize for the Novel of the Academy in 1981. The story of a young man from Tour de Rack set off around 1860, to conquer distant Patagonia. Raspail had fun and proclaimed himself Consul General of Patagonia. Readers write to ask him to be naturalized Patagonians, they want to share this state of mind. The myth was born. The sulfur camp of Saints Raspail writes to escape. Defender of lost causes, he published in 1986 Qui Remembers de Homs, following his stays with the Lake Luffs a people in Tierra del Fuego annihilated and threatened with extinction by progress. His work seduces with his strength, his obstinacy, and wins new readers with each generation. It also divides. In 1973, the writer published what would become a hot pot, The Camp of Saints, Robert Lafont. Apocalyptic novel in France in 2050, faced with the massive arrival of migrants on its shores. Prophet. He denied it. Controversies proliferated. In 2011, the book was reissued. The author adds a punch preface, entitled Big Other. In this same reissue, he adds as an appendix all the pages falling under the scope of the law. Robert Laffont's CEO Leonello Brandolini said in a foreword that his opinion was not that of the author he was publishing. The author is associated with the far right, his words are denounced. Daniel Schneiderman will sign a vitriolic forum against the author with the title, Call Racists Racists. Readers decided, 132,000 copies sold to date. After the Camp of Saints, the man will publish 20 books, much less controversial.
the utopian soul of the traveler had taken over. He returned to his travels to meet forgotten peoples. A fertile romantic imagination held in 2003 by the Grand Prize for Literature of the French Academy for all of his work. Ironic for the one who had the feeling of never having had the card near the literary medium. Even the ninth art has drawn its emaciated features and its eternal mustache. Designer Jacques Durpent adapts his adventure novels. The author of Moi, Antoine de Townens, King of Patagonia even makes an appearance in the 19th volume of The Adventures of the Famous Billionaire Largo Winch. The designer, impressed by his so British physique, borrowed his features for a character. The monarchy at the heart the lily. Raspail proudly wore it on his ties. His work was just as covered. The Famous Sire, 1991, which narrates the coronation of Philippe Ferriman de Bourbon in 1999, Le Jeu du Roi, 1976, The King Beyond the Sea, 2000, nurtured this love for the monarchy. Deeply Christian, man held on to his convictions. In his apartment, the works of the Vendee Wars recalled his royalist attachment. On January 21, 1993, Against all odds, he organized a commemoration of the 200th anniversary of the death of Louis XVI, placed a La Concorde, in the presence of the United States Ambassador Walter Curley. In 1971, Raspail published The Game of the King, a novel in which he evoked a man dreaming of his vanished kingdom while looking at the sea. Braving the storms, the writer stayed the course, continued to say and write what he believed in, without bending. The Patagonian consul is dead, long live the consul.